Scott Brown here. In today's exciting episode, we install the plywood wall. Now, I don't know if you can relate to this, but as a builder, you're often on the job the longest, yet you have to leave before all the nice finishing stuff happens. You're walking out the door, the plaster is there, the drop sheets are covering everything, and, and in today's episode, it's kind of like that. I didn't get to film the feature wall in all its glory at the end, so I hope you can forgive me, and I hope you enjoy the episode despite it. Alright. <laughs> Today, painting is happening here, and we're gonna cut the last ply for here. Yeah. Are you ready for your close up, Sayer? <laughs> <laughs> So we are packing out this wall here with some chipboard to make the uh, jam flush with the wall in the same way that the jam is flush with the wall on the big window. So this is how we plan to... That's how we plan to hold the ply on the wall without nailing it, using this glue. We might do some little sneaky nails in the rebates, but uh... And the good thing about it is you can still... You can still position it. Alright, so the plasterers have just plastered this in, over the last few days. So they might change our sheets that we started cutting. But we've got this reference point. A lot of people ask me about trying to cut sheets in uneven areas. So if that's uneven, that's uneven, that's out of square, how do you cut it so it's still mint? Well, what we do is we draw level lines like this, and we always refer to the level line and a plumb line that might be nearby. So in this case, we've got the window, so we can measure off the window, and we've got this horizontal line, which we can measure off as well. This point here, that's 1182, and that's the same there, so it's nice and straight. But I measured the sheet over there and that was 11.84. So we just added a couple mil with the plaster. So we're gonna shave that off the top of the plywood. I remember doing a bathroom wall once, we drew like a plumb line there and a level line across. And we got every measurement off that, like this, like that, and even the sides. So all your measurements were referenced from these two points. And that's another way that you can um, cut a sheet to perfectly fit within an uneven area. Punch that after. Can't see nothing. Sheet number one. Alright, we're using the uh, finished carpentry TV glue again. It's been very handy, just for these situations where you want the glue to hold rather than waiting for it to set. Oh, oh, oh. You hold that, I'm gonna go get a coffee, okay? <laughs> <laughs> now that we have a system, we can uh, go for some morning tea. Where are you going? Back. <laughs> Bit oh. of money. Okay. I haven't got mine either. <laughs> are you going to buy it? I've literally got coins. Oh, right. We're going to buy it. <laughs> Hello. Steak and cheese pie, please. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. See you later. Hey. Blue week, anyone? Had to do it. Steak and cheese pie. Yeah. So I think we've figured out how we're doing this plywood. And we should be able to get a lot more sheets on now that we've got a system. What are you looking at bro? 1180. You want it to be 1180? Yeah. Ooh, three mil. Wow, so close.
If you can get one right on the top, it'd be great. So we're sneaking little pins into the rebate. Trey B uses the two fingers off. That's probably on there. You see that's working? Oh. Ten. Nine. Wow. What a treat. <laughs> when you don't have the correct round. Right, because if, if you have the round bit, you'll be able to go bang and then bang straight down, and then and then oh, and then you just chisel your corners out, and that's it. Should have got the round bit. O and T. Here we go, guys. No nails. Clamps are a builder's best friend. Wow. Just wow. Just wow. Bro, right, it looks mean, bro. It does, eh? It It's not easy eh Scott, but somebody's got to do it eh? Alright, we just need to paint it up. There you go, you want to do a better job than me of masking? So some people are asking about uh, our method of doing rebates rather than spraying the wall and just leaving gaps between the ply. Um, we did that in the bedroom wall that we did last year and that worked well in that situation because we were able to frame the wall to suit the plywood but in this situation the plywood was a bit of an afterthought we, we, we did the entire wall ready for jib and architrave you know there's a gap between the jib and the jam and it didn't sit perfect enough for us to tape it and spray it and still get that clean gap so this rebate method has um, provided us with the the even surface that we didn't have here. Is that a confident this time? Uh, yeah, I am. Oh, no. You sound too confident there. Eh? <laughs> uh, yeah, bro. Yeah. Uh, no stopping me. Fuck, I'm just a mill out. But it's working. Of the time, it works every time, bro. Oh, so you're 100%, 90% sure? This is fine, bro. This is fine, bro. Okay, it's got you to take it. Okay, I'm gonna need a hot spider's man. We're not bloody framing the wall, man. <laughs> oh, wow, perfection. I'm good, bro. I'm perfect now. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Look how well I planned it, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> That glue is a wonder, eh? It is. The fact that it just holds just like that. 
Yeah. I have to tell Saeed about my little dent. Hey Saeed, yeah. I put a little, little, little dent in the ceiling here. It's the little tiny one. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I just bumped it with this. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, just leaving you know. Five dollars. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? <laughs> what do you say? Five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. So that represents the plumb line, that represents the level line, and all our measurements are off these points. That way. That way, that way, that way. Even down to the top of the window. This line here. There's the measurements. 200, 202. Then you transfer it over to here and you peel the sticker off and you don't have a line anymore. Say, Are you happy? <laughs> <laughs> Don't drop it, man. Jesus. Glued up, ready to go. In with the green. The 18 gauge Koki is, uh, oh, sorry, Hitachi. It's working a tree. It's a superior finishing hand, my friend. Yeah, you happy with it? Awesome. Final moment, guys. Are you excited like I am excited? What about you, buddy? Are you excited like I am excited? Yeah, buddy, I can't wait. Oh my god. We've been two days for this. <laughs> the moment's finally come. Oh my god. Alright, last piece. To there, and then just be awesome, bro. And then up. You only got one shot. What's that like? You good? You good? I'm good. There you go, you hold that for. Five Mississippis, and then, uh, and then you go, oh my god. Then you go, good. See you later.